How are you doing guys? Chris here from Divergent Drones. Well, the DJI Action 2 is out and it is unmistakably a market replacement for the GoPro Hero Session 5. But how do the two actually compare against each other? One great thing is mounting will be similar for both models since DJI included an action camera style mount. But let's cut to the chase. How is that resolution for the camera? The Action 2 offers 4K at a whopping 120 frames per second. That's a significant increase from the Session's 4K at 30 frames per second. But all that extra speed comes at a cost. The DJI Action 2 has had an overheating issue. Very similar to the GoPro Hero 10's overheating issue. Both companies have claimed they'll fix it in a firmware update. But as long as you keep your camera moving and exposed to the open air, there shouldn't be any problem. It's just sitting around in one spot that causes the cameras to overheat. So DJI definitely has a leg up when it comes to frames per second at 4K resolution. So let's take a look at how much these cameras weigh. The DJI camera comes in at a Featherlight 57 grams compared to the 75 grams of the Session 5. Accessories for the Session 5 are numerous since it's been around for so long, but the magnetic feature of the Action 2 has already produced a line of magnetic ND filters. Stabilization is taken care of by Rocksteady and Horizon Steady for DJI. For the GoPro Hero Session 5, you're going to have to use Real Steady Go. But arguably, Real Steady Go is better than Rocksteady. If you want to hear the action, the DJI Action 2 actually has four microphones on board as opposed to two for the Session 5. And the specification that I'm most excited about is the wide field of view of the Action 2. 155 degrees field of view compared to the Session 5's only 150 degrees field of view. The DJI Action 2 offers you that field of view at 4K resolution, where GoPro only offers it to you in 2.7K. And most importantly of all, you can buy the DJI Action 2 now, where the GoPro Hero Session 5 is no longer available new. You have to buy it refurbished or used. Stay tuned for more updates. I'm sure there's more to come. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.